Team, I am back in my work clothes. We are back at the workshop. So that usually means we're getting some drastic work done on Olive. But you'll be pleased to know there's no work on Olive need to be done. Guys, we have a slightly different video for you this week. This is like proper diverse. It's all to do with van life still. But yeah, it's totally different. If you've been around here with us for a while, you will know that we're usually off exploring in Olive somewhere around the world. However, we are back in Tavistock right now where it all began for many different reasons. But if you tuned into last week's vlog, you'll see we're off to Vegas in two weeks time. So we thought, what are we gonna do for the next two weeks? I found ourselves a project. Aren't you so excited for it? Chris has wanted to do this for a very long time, but I've always been like, we haven't got the time, you know, we're traveling full time. We generally hadn't had the time because obviously we both used to work full time, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We used to work all the time and it's something I've always wanted to do, but never had the free time to do it as we were building our beautiful home on wheels at the time. Yeah. But now we have two weeks. There was a van in the yard, which was owned by my dad. He was going to scrap it. So I've given him the scrap value for it and I'm going to try and get it up and running and just a usable, nice van. I cannot wait to show you guys the state of it at the moment though, because this is going to be the transformation of transformations. This is like the show Pimp My Ride. It's going to be so good. <laughs> to say it needs a bit of TLC is an understatement. We're not even sure if this van is going to start. So I've said to Chris, today is the be all and end all. If he can get this van started by the end of today, we're doing it. The project is going to be on for the next two weeks. It'll be a goer. If he can't get it started today, we're scrapping it. And we're going to the beach. <laughs> we're going back surfing. <laughs> so we're going to take you guys along with us. Shall we show them what it looks like? Yeah. Let's go. Come on team. This Look. is it. This is the project. So it's a Volkswagen T4 front of it. And it's actually called a Volkswagen T4 Razorback. So the back, the platform in the back actually lowers so you can drive like motorbikes and quad bikes up onto it or just help you manoeuvring things. That's going to be the biggest job. But first I need to make sure it starts and then try and get it from there at least out to here. I am going to have to move all of this wood this here. So shall I take them and have a look? Yeah. I'll show you guys how bad the actual situation. And if you can't hear me, I don't think we've ever actually shown you. We've always told you there was a river. But the river is down there. You'll see the running little stream. So there's nothing wrong with your computers or your tellies or our microphone. It's just the river running down there. What an absolute dream of a dream this is going to be to do up. It's going to look amazing once it's done. It's going to be like a pimp my ride proper. I need to get the bonnet open. I need to make sure all the engine components are there because I'm not sure if you guys actually know. We used to have a T4 ourselves. So I have ripped a few pits, bits off this van to fit when I was fixing up our other one. So yeah, we're going to have to have a look and see how bad it actually is. But I'm excited. I love a project. So to me, it's like, go, go, go. Sam, not so much. But babe, when you come to edit this, thank you so much for letting us do it. I will do my best to get it started today. But even if it doesn't start, I think we can still do something with it. So uh, it's a go. Guys, nature has taken its course and decided to like wrap itself around this van. It's been parked here for that long. There's probably like animals living in it right now and it's just become part of nature. Maybe we need to just leave it be. Absolutely not. I mean, the trouble is, is it's got such low mileage and it could be such an amazing vehicle. It just needs a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of TLC. And right now we've got a bit of time. It's weather, we're up for this challenge. Here's the keys for it. Let's have a look at this bad boy. <laughs> it's literally in a bush. Well, it opens, it's good. Look at the state of it.
Wow. It's a little bit rough around the edges, I will say, but all in all, it's dry in here, which is great, and it looks not too bad. There's a lot of mold, as you'd expect, for a van that's been sat for so long. But yeah, there's a bit of mold and all that up here. The roof lining actually looks all right. There's mold on the chair, but all in all, it is a dry, dry van. Now let's see if it starts. What are we thinking then? So I've just put the battery in and we're going to see if it turns over. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're going to try and start it. I'm going to try and start it. Are you ready? Guys, this is big because I said to him, if we get it started today, we can do this project, even though it's going to be massive and dirty and I don't know, but he's going to get it started first. Let's see if it starts. No way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> no way did that just start first time! Honestly, I cannot believe that. I can't even... Oh, I don't think I got a clutch though. Clutch is just pushing to the floor. That's not good. Might have to look at that first. That's not great, but the rest is so good. Oh! That's it, team. I've lost. He's won. Let's turn this into something special. What a beauty. <laughs> She's out. She's out. Oh my god. Look at that black tire at the back. I don't even know what's in the back of it. We'll have to have a look. Quick update guys, I have the van pulled out now, which is great. But this clutch is still not coming out, so I've got it all opened up. I'm having a look. I know I probably should clean it first, but it's mechanically, it's got to be mechanically good for me to even attempt to carry this on. So the deal is the clutch isn't coming out, so it's either going to be the master cylinder, which is by the pedal on these vans, or the slave cylinder. But I think the slave cylinder, unfortunately, on the 2.5s, is actually in the gearbox. So fingers crossed it's not that one. I definitely have fluid in the um, reservoir. So yeah, this will go at the moment. Oh my. It's going to be white again. <laughs> Look at the difference. Oh my it's going to take a good bit of scrubbing, but. What about this? I don't What's think that, that I don't think come off. So it'll just have to be sanded off. Ah! It's coming off. It's going to take some scrubbing. <laughs> Serious scrubbing. So I've decided to wash it now because tomorrow I have to go and get a, a bleeding pump for the clutch. So I'm going to try and bleed it and make sure before I go investing too much into it, I'm going to try and bleed all the um, pedals so it comes back up at least a little bit just to engage it, just so I can know it does drive and then we will be all in. So 21 pound tomorrow, get that from Europarts as we're out anyway. And yeah, see this beauty come to life. I mean, look at the windows. So green. They're unbelievable. We have even got some of that green paint left over that we use for olive. That's, that is real. We're that would that. look epic That's on this happen. van, wouldn't it? That's gonna happen. That will look epic. Then I can treat all the rust and it'll be lush. Mm. We're still not 100% sure if this is definitely going ahead. It will all depend on if we can get it to run. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm ignoring you. Fletcher wants some attention. Go. We're about to take him for a walk now anyway. Before the sun sets, we're going for a walk with him. Burn some of his energy. Isn't that right, Fletch? And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Day two of working on the van. This morning, I have actually got the clutch to work. So I bought a kit yesterday. Um, it was really like raining on and off. So I didn't get the camera out and vlog too much of it, but I had someone come out and help me and yeah, it was wicked. We got it all working. So the clutch goes in, it goes into gear, slowly goes forward. Cause I think all the brake 
brakes are uh, seized on. So I've got the first wheel off at the moment. As you can see the state of it, it's not looking great. I'm not gonna lie. So the plan is, I'm gonna take every wheel off, give it a good clean out around that area, move on to the next wheel, put some air in the tires, make sure it's all freely running so it's drivable. And then I'm gonna take it down to an MOT uh, test center. At least then they can have a look at it. And if they say it's too far gone, there's too much rot there or anything like that, we know it's a lost cause. But if not, which I'm hoping and praying it's not, we can actually make it into a really, really cool project. So that's the latest update. I'm just gonna start cleaning all this area off and make sure all the brakes are free when we are driving. And to make sure they actually work so we can stop. Last corner team, this is the last corner. This is what we have been dealing with. I didn't realize you learn something new every day. The rear calipers on the Volkswagens, you actually have to push in while turning the piston back in. I didn't know that and there was a special tool for it. Luckily I managed to borrow a tool off a local garage, which is ideal. But yeah, this is the last corner, just free the wheel up and then it should at least be drivable. That's the end, the goal for the end of the day. Watch out Fletch, the wheel's coming off. Oh my God. It's this, looking rather green. This is what we are dealing with in there. Look at the state of that. Uh, oh, wow. Wow. So what have you been doing then? So I have been brushing it all off, getting all this loose metal off and stuff like that. I've been taking apart the caliper, stripping the caliper right back down to literally basic, giving it a good clean up and things like that. And then just putting it all back together, testing the brake, make sure the caliper works push it back in, bring it out, push it back in. And then, yeah, after that, it's gonna be a case of getting it down to the MOT place. You can see, that's the color it's meant to be. Why is I it I cleaned so up it there the other day, just to see what it's like, but it's been so open to the elements. You gotta remember, guys, we're not gonna have this top bit on here, so that's no. why I haven't cleaned it. This, ultimately, is gonna be taken off and it's gonna be like a pickup truck on the back. That's the plan. And then in here, while I've got this side up, you can actually have a look. There's four of these big pistons here. And that's what make the uh, floor go up and down. Obviously the controls are on the other side. So this is what I am uh, dealing with and that's what I get, I've got to get up and running as well. So it goes And this is a spare wheel. And that's a spare wheel. And I can see some big spiders in here. Oh, there are some monsters Look at in here. the skeletons on those. <laughs> They've obviously been enjoying enjoying this as their home for the last god knows how long oh, so at the moment it's still looking really positive hello by the way this is the first time i've been on the vlog today as you can probably tell i'm not really needed at the moment not am I? yet when we get to cleaning it and once we know it's a goer then it'll be a case of all guns go but right now it's just a let's get it on the road yeah and we can go from there but I have been getting everything ready for Vegas. I've just finished yep. booking everything, like our airport transfers and stuff. And do you know what, guys? I've been so rusty. <laughs> Not used to all this. But yeah, like we said last week, the travel duo started with us traveling to like 30 countries. We've been as far as Fiji, New Zealand, Australia, Cambodia. It's going to be nice can... to get back on a plane. Yes. And that is for sure. So I've just been getting that ready whilst Chris has been working very hard. It's basically taken all day for him to do these four tyres. Yeah. But it's going to be so worth it. And then when we get the go ahead from the garage that this is going to be a feasible project, then we'll get stuck right in. But it is quite emotional seeing that we could be saving something from the scrapyard. Cool. We could be giving it like another life. It's like upcycling, isn't it? Yeah, rather than getting rid of it, like we've got skills, we've managed to renovate this beautiful green machine. So you never know. If we can, we can. We want to try and do our bit, do a bit of recycling whilst we're waiting for Vegas. But it all depends on the professionals. There's like loads of boat stuff. I know, it's old oars. There's oars. There's even a boat engine in there. That's another project. Wow, wow, wow. That's ready for boat life, guys. He's already got his first piece of equipment for boat life team. 
in this one right here. Oh my God, it stinks in here. Right, Flesh, you've got to test a few things. No indicator. Are they on? There's no lights in here. You gotta hold it for full beam. Doesn't even make a noise. No. Dead as a dodo. Oh. Why wasn't I doing anything then? You just gotta keep it. Obviously, just think everything's all frozen up, so it's right. a case of there's lights out, there's bulbs out. I don't What's know that noise? Point. I don't know. The whistle at the back. Sure. There's some belt or something. Okay, so that one's working. Doesn't sound the healthiest. So we got no life at the back of the van. No life at the back of the van. Oh, I didn't try the, the hazard lights. Do you want me to put them on? Yeah, it should be able to work now, shouldn't it? They're on. Watch what I say to him now. Huh? All a bit dead. Yeah, so turn the uh, things off. This would make an awesome coffee truck, wouldn't it? <laughs> Fuck yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? The shape of it make an awesome coffee little shop. You just cut a little hole in for a side be awesome, right? door. One day, that's One coming. Day. Turn the hazards off, it'll kill the battery. So, how are you off. feeling after test one? Yeah, good. Drive's fine. Drive's good. I've just got to um, have a look at the electrics. It's only going to be corrosion on the wires. Smells in here, doesn't it? Well, that's your job. You're going to clean the inside, aren't you? Mm. I, I like the smell, because it like, reminds me of... Fletcher's quite content in it, buddy, aren't you? He's like, anything with you. No. Anything with you, my little pudding, <laughs> my little pudding, pudding. <laughs> So we didn't have any of the lights working, uh, none of the rear indicators were working or anything like that. I did take the cases off the lights. As you can see, they're down there on the floor and they were so full of water, it was unbelievable. So, show them the indicators, baby. There's one, other way. Nice. The final one, reverse. We need to see if reverse works. Go on then. Hazards are both working. I need reverse now. Booyah! Reverse is on. Turn the lights off. No. Lights are on. You are. I'm giving you a cuddle. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what fun, <one> isn't it? <laughs> You're born to be a mechanic. I oh, know. I oh, know. I think I've been in the wrong trade. Oh, you want to cuddle too. Oh, hello, you have a cuddle. Thanks for celebrating. <laughs> Yo, the lights are working. <laughs> yeah. At least that's one less thing for it to fail on in the MOT tomorrow. We've got it booked in tomorrow, first thing in the morning. They said they'll get to it at some point. I said, no, no rush like that. But, yeah, I'm getting excited. I might be getting ahead of myself, but I think it's good. Are we celebrating, Fletch? Daddy's Bobby. just the best. Oh, Wookie! <laughs> He's so Hello, Wookie! Yeah, Wookie! So Good morning, guys. Day three, and the van is now down at the MOT station. Rookie, rookie mistake. I managed to free up all the wheels, which was amazing, but on one wheel, while I was driving down there, I forgot to do the nuts up on it, proper, like, tight. I did them up so they're, like, hand tight, and then you normally lower it from the jack and then do them up, but I forgot on the front left wheel, and the noise the fear inside me my heart was beating so so fast that was scary times proper scary times we're just getting ourselves ready now because we have a few errands we've got, got to go and run around tavi uh, yelverton area so we're going to do that and then wait in anticipation for the phone call from the garage i know it's not going to pass but i just don't want it to fail on too much you know what i mean i don't want it to fail on like everything because then i don't think it'll be uh, very good but yeah, let's hope it's all good. Time for Fletcher's haircuts. Are you ready, Puddin? See y'all in a minute, buddy. See 
in a minute. Next Have time we see you, you're going to be smelling of baby powder. You'll be lovely and sure. <laughs> bye bye, Blanchy. Well then. <laughs> now just trying to convince Sam to go to Starbucks. So we can go to Starbucks because we do have a couple of business calls to do. So that will be really cool if I can drag her to Starbucks. I think it's like 15 minutes. So uh, yeah, let's try and get to Starbucks. Fletcher did not want to go in there. He knows exactly who she is. Um, but she's so lovely and she just said to me when I dropped Fletcher off that her son's just brought a camper van, a big Mercedes Sprinter, it looks awesome and she said that they're going off to Europe in a couple of months time um, to go all around France, Switzerland, Austria, basically what we did on our very first Europe trip and was like do you have any tips? And I just said to her, like, over in Europe, it's just so made for camper vans. If any of you guys have been, you'll know exactly what I mean. They're just incredible over there. So I said, once they get over that border into France, they're going to have the best time. But I always say my top tip for anyone going over to Europe is if you like baked beans, just stock up on them because they don't really sell baked beans like that. They do, they import them, and they're mega expensive and hard to find. So just take a load of baked beans with you. So that's my tip to you guys if you are planning a trip to Europe in your camper van. Oh, Mr. <laughs> handsome Boy! Oh. Are you all handsome and smelling good? You smell gorgeous. Look at your little head. <laughs> yeah. Look at you. Oh boy. I've just had the news, guys. I've just had the phone call from the garage. And I'm not going to lie, there's a excessively, excessively long list on there. But a lot of it is like the headlights not working or like the dipped beams a little bit funny, windscreen wipers, couple of tyres. But the wheels and all that, which I thought would fail, they're not too bad. None of the brakes, uh, none of them failed. They were all fine. So it's literally just like a little bit odds and sods. There's a couple of bits of corrosion on it, which I expected after it has been sat there for seven years. So I'm going to go down to the garage now and see what they've got to say, see if the edge is like salvageable and I'll see if they can do the welding on the van or if it's something they can do. If not, I'll have to see if somewhere else can do it. But yeah, apart from that, I am pretty happy with how it's turned out. It's, it's back, I've just got it back. But unfortunately, as I've just pulled up into the yard, the gears have now gone like really loose. So I don't know if the selector has just come off or something like that. I'll have to jack it up and have a look. But the welding doesn't actually seem to be too bad. What it is, it is these brackets right here. So I need to undo it there, undo it up there if I can, and then undo it over there. So I need to make some new brackets there for that. Um, a little bit of welding on one of the steps, and then a little bit of welding on the suspension arm. So the welding isn't too bad. Obviously it's gonna need a battery for that's why the headlights or anything like that wasn't working. But yeah, I'm actually quite happy with it. Right, I got my overall back on. I'm ready to get dirty again. I've just had a look and it is just this little gear linkage down here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can see it comes out of its bushes. So obviously that's not meant to do that. So I'm gonna get that sorted. Um, it needs to have some more water put in it. Um, I need to make sure the fans are running well and they're actually running freely because mate said it seemed to be a bit overheating. But yeah, all in all, I am really, really happy with it, and I'm going to tell Sam we're going to go for this. We're going to make it work. Hello. Hello. How are we? How did she get on? How did she get on? Well. How did she get on? Um. We're keeping it. Are we actually? We're keeping it. It's going to be the project to do. Right. Even the guys down the garage were like, you need to keep that thing. That's really? worth a lot of money. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. They were like saying like ridiculous prices, but it's got to be worth something. Okay. But it's not actually, it's not actually too bad, the MOT. It's a long list, but because the battery was dying, mm. obviously that's why it says like the headlights weren't working, the rear lights and things like mm. that weren't working. But there's uh, plates that need, I need to try and unbolt. that are basically holding the front to the back. Right. They're rusted through. But it's not too bad a welding because obviously I can draw them up the plates, get them made, yeah. and then fit new ones. So that's fucking ideal for us. So okay. I've just got to try and get them off. I've WD forty all the bolts and all that. But yeah, so as I drove as I drove in here, I lost all uh, all gears. So I was like, oh my god, this is not good. Oh, 
but I've realized that's just linkage in there so that's not an issue okay. um, they said it was overheating a little bit but that's standard because it hasn't been driven for so long so all in all so the garage right here the garage said yeah you said um you it's worth putting a bit of money into so it'll be worth a lot of money right. if you, especially if you can get the back going will it get me my private jet no okay not quite your will private it pay jet for Vegas about 10 times over it's mad so yeah that's wow. the idea Woo. so give her some good TLC guys and she should be loving it it'll be perfect for anyone with like motorbikes or things like that because I'm going to knock the top off like I have told you before and then and the floor comes down on the hydraulics which are down here so people will just be able to ride their motorbikes in screw them in put the floor back up and off they go so people who love doing track days and things like that it'll be wicked for so that's going to be the target market but I have a funny feeling once I've actually done this van to how I want it to look, I am going to want to keep it. I just know I am. It's going to be so hard to let it go. But she needs some loving. She's going to take some time. And while I have it, let's get it on with it. So team, we're keeping her. What a job it's going to be, but how exciting. Please let me know in the comments if you think we're mad. <laughs> what you think about her or him. We're not even sure what it is yet. We need a name. I was going to say, yeah, maybe even a name. It could any... be a he. She's a she. It could be a We could have like Olive and Oscar or something like that. That would be quite uh... cool. But yeah, guys, drop in the comments. Give us a name yeah. and things like that because it would be really good to know what you guys think of the project as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm excited to get my teeth proper into it now. Thank you so much for tuning in. We need an emoji. What's this emoji? It's got to be a van, isn't it? the van emoji yeah it's like a it's like a van i think it's like a white van emoji so drop that in the comments below let us know you got this far in the video and as sam just said thank you guys so much for tuning in we do appreciate each and every one of you guys don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe all that jazz join us next week just to see how we get on with this project we'll see you then see ya